Hello and welcome to the Critically Curious. Today we are in Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lords and we are going to be doing a Let's Play. This is going to be a beginner's guide Let's Play series and I'm going to run it for as long as you guys are actually interested. Um, I know this game is brand new out and it really does not hold your hand at all this game. Um, so we're going to be running through it and I'm going to be talking about you know what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. Um, and trying to help you guys understand what to do when you very first start the game or just entertain you as you may just see me get absolutely butchered. Um, so right now we are picking our size and for argument's sake going small is actually the correct way to go um, because it means you've got a smaller hitbox therefore you're not going to get hit by a ton of things but for roleplay purposes I don't like doing that. I prefer my guy to be rather bulky um, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, and we're going to have a build, and that'll do, I think. Okie dokie, so we have already done a few guys on how to build them and why to build them. This guy isn't going to be necessarily a trader or a smith, although I'm sure we're going to have a go at all of it. We are looking for a few different things. I would quite like to actually have some one-handedness, so some vigor would be pretty cool. I'd also like some endurance as well. Um, I love two-handedness personally, but we're not going to go there this time. Social is always a good one. Let's have a look, see what else we've got. Intelligence. I think starting off intelligence isn't so bad. We also get a focus point into charm. I quite like charm and medicine. Oh, I do feel like it's a bit of a waste, if I'm honest. But intelligence is a good stat to get a point in. Social again could be a very good point to get a point in because you've got the leadership, you've got trade, and you've got charm. So, yeah, let's just go there. Um, now, then, what else can we pick? Let's see where we're going. Two handed weapons. No, I wanted one handed weapons this time because I plan on doing a little bit. Oh, an endurance point. Yes, let's pick that. Absolutely good idea. And again, that's two handed. We don't want that smithing isn't for us endurance however i do like me some endurance what else have we got as options social again we're going to go for endurance i think we get one point on to endurance uh, so we're up to four there and we've got a bit of scouting scouting is so important in this game for so many reasons mostly for just avoiding bloody armies late game it becomes so useful um, endurance again, and we get horsing, horsing, we'll get a point in horsing, ah, there we go, a point in vigor, point in our one-handed, and a point in pole arms, well, that's where we're going to go, I believe, now we've got our young adult, again, we could get our point in vigor, which I think is probably the best way to go here, so where was that, there it is, Get another point in one-handed weapons or focus point in one-handed weapons and again we can go vigor once more it's vigor or endurance we do actually get a little focus point into athletics here which could be quite useful yeah we're gonna go there that's where we're gonna go and we're gonna dice roll the name that'll do that'll do uh, we're going to leave it just regular standard. That way, you know, for anyone playing, this is probably what you're going to be playing on difficulty-wise if you only just started the game anyway. Um, we are going to skip tutorial because I don't want to do it. Um, and really, this is more about what to do after the tutorial is over because I know that a lot of people have been, you know, kind of frozen as if to say, what do we do now, really? Um, chasing the banner is a very good idea oh family name what can we be let me know down in the comments what you think the family name should be what you think the clan should be called for now i'm just going to call it what are we going to call it let's call it let's call it critically clueless because it is the channel of the critically clueless so why the hell not but yeah let me know down in the comments what you think i should call my clan and i'll make sure i change the name to the most popular answer anyway that's done 
Um, how we need to design our flag. I think the stag looks pretty cool, so we're going to leave that as it is. And there we go. We have just started. So, chasing the banner is a great idea at the beginning of the game. And, you know, but in order to do that, you really do need some troops and stuff like that. So the first thing I would do is try and hunt down some troops. Now, there's a couple of villages nearby. Uh, are there any troops in them? Probably not. I don't think there ever is at the beginning of the game. Whoosh, that was close. Almost in the hands of looters, like within the first couple of seconds of starting. That would not have been cool. There's me fast forwarding the game like I was. No recruitment. We could check the tavern. We don't really have the money, even if there was someone in there. And there is. We're going to go trade and let's go to our civilian clothes. Now, I really don't want this. Or I don't need it anyway. So, boosh. And what else have we got? We've got this. Boosh. That did not boosh. Try that again. There we go. And our boots. I don't think we need boots either. I think we are going to need a little bit more food. So let's find some grain real quick. Where'd the grain go? Where'd the grain go? We've got some grain. Meat selling for, what, 31? How much is hogs? Hogs are 32. Are we going to make any money if we kill some hogs? I'll tell you what, let's kill 10 hogs, which is 233. And we'll see if this actually makes us money. Now, this used to be a strategy a long time ago. Unfortunately, it did get, um, did get nerfed by quite a bit. Okay, so now we've got some meat and some hide. Let's pop in here and we're going to go to trade and let's sell all the meat and let's sell all the hide and hey presto look at that we made ourselves some money 706 we almost made ourselves 450 uh, dinars in profit there i will take that especially for the beginning of the game so Let's rinse and repeat and see if we can, you know, keep it going a little bit. They do have 18 hogs in here. Um, so let's see what we can get if we was to get them all. Now, this is going to cost us 610. Oosh, there we go. And now let's pop down in here. Go to the inventory. Go over to the hogs. Butcher them all up. Actually, recently released a tips video. I meant to show you that you could actually, you know, kill off your horses if you needed to uh, for a bit of meat, but I completely forgot to include the tip. Um, however, I think this tip would also work relatively nice. Let's see, we have to beat, what, 600 quid, I believe? 600 dinars? Let's see if we get that back and more. And once we're done, you can see we have successfully made another 500 in us. So that trick worked rather tasty. And we've now got two grand to our name, which really isn't too bad. There is a city over here. So I'm going to go have a look, see, over the city, see if there is a tournament brewing, see if we can get some troops and see what is up with that. Now, we do need to avoid some people because we've got we've got literally nothing. So. We do need to avoid people. We do have a focus point. Where are we going to put that focus point? That's a good question. One-handed weaponry could be. I think riding, um, riding or athletics could be good. Let's do athletics because athletics is very, very useful. Uh, we also have a point in one-handed to pop on. So let's have a look at that. We're going to go for basher. Uh, shield bash now deals 50% more damage and stun your enemies for longer. I love this ability. I think it's very good. I also think shield bash is totally overpowered. So that's where we're going to go. Now let's recruit some troops. And we finally have some troops to recruit. I would recommend recruiting a 20 at the beginning of the game. Just because... It stops those looters from just, you know, attacking you as they want. 
I prefer to be the aggressors rather than allow them to attack me. So if you have 20 troops, they really don't want any part of you. Especially early game. Obviously later game, they do get more uh, in numbers and they do get a little bit stronger. And you can mess up sometimes, especially if you're coming off like a strong loss in battle. Okay, so where are we? Let's firstly see if they have any of those hogs. Hogs are usually at the bottom. No hogs to be found. What do they have price-wise? I don't see anything particularly low in price. We are going to need better equipment, but we don't have that yet. And there's no tournament here either, so I have to keep that in mind let's recruit troops I'm just going to go from town to town until we get the 20 we are very close to the 20 however uh where's the next place we want to look at we started down there so let's yeah let's pop up here let's pop up here see how this goes now we do only have three days of food so getting some food is probably a good idea as well do have 16 16 cheese we do have 16 troops after all we need to feed them or they're not going to stay with us for very long and we are up to 20 sweet go to trade they do have hogs but they're very expensive so we're not going to grab those Now, where are we going to go now? Let's try another city. There is a city down here. We could see if there is a tournament brewing. We could see what they have to offer. Um, we've got our 20 troops, which is absolutely blinding. We do need to go for a little bit of a battle, I think. Um, train these troops up a little bit, because at level 1, they really are no good, let's be honest. I think 10 good looters could probably mess us up, but... We have found our first tournament, which I'm also rather excited about because becoming tournament champion is bloody useful. Uh, you get one renown per day if you become tournament champion. So keep that in mind. It's very, very well worth um, grabbing. Let's get a little bit, or a little bit more grain uh, for the troops. That was something we wanted to do. No hogs to be had here. Hogs are something we already know works, so I like to stick to that. If you know something that works at the, you know, at the time, use it until you find something else that works even better. Now, this is our first tournament, meaning we haven't done one before. I mean, we are literally level one bums. We have no proficiency in any weapons whatsoever, and so there's a highly, you know, we could lose, let's be honest. Um, so we're going to see how this actually goes for us. We're going to pop on a bet as well, because... When you very first start out, betting earns you a ton of money. Um, the more you bet, the less money you actually manage to earn. But for now, at least, ooh, what are we going to do? There we go. We're going to block. And we're going to attack. Excellent. So we won our first battle. Not too bad. Got some points in athletics while it looks a bit as well. Uh, this time it's a team battle. These can be tricky, especially if you get caught two on one and with no proficiencies in anything whatsoever. You know, really... Oh, hello. Let's uh, change weapon. Now, I like to pick up a shield as soon as I can because having that shield is bloody helpful. Oh, two and one. This is exactly what I did not want. So I'm going to try and wait for that guy to help us out a little bit. Go on, dude. Attack him in the back. There we go. And again. And again. And lovely. Look at that. One on one again. I appreciate the help, my friend. I, I really, really do. I could have probably died if it wasn't for you. So big thank you. And hey, we won. Picking up the weapons off the floor in the uh, tournaments, in the arena. Really good bit of advice, especially in arena as well. If you're trying to level a weapon, but you don't want to risk anything, 
you know, with the looters and stuff. Picking up one of those weapons off the floor can seriously help you out. I'm better with a sword, so hence why I switch. Now, I do think that a two-handed weapon deals a hell of a lot more damage than a single weapon, but a sword and shield does work really well in this game, especially if you plan to be um, in the tournaments, because I find that more often than not, you are fighting with a shield. Sorry, with a sword. Um, of course, you can go around. There are different types of tournaments um, based on the culture of, you know, wherever you are. So if you want to use a two-handed weapon, then Sturgia is probably your place. Or maybe it's Britannia. The green place, anyway. Or both. Maybe both. There we go. Our first tournament is won. Kind of excellent. So we got ourselves a little prize as well. We got ourselves some money. We definitely got ourselves some renown. This is probably the slowest way to gather renown, but it's also the safest way to gather renown because you don't really have any risk of losing anything other than the money that you're betting. And after a while, the money that you actually win betting just isn't even worth your time. So you're not even betting. So you're not even risking that. Um, if we go to the arena, though, we can look at the leaders board and see that this guy right here has got 30 victories and he is the guy to beat. Um, if we manage to beat him, we become the tournament leader. And I want to become the tournament leader. I think it's very, very worthwhile doing. OK, so we won our first piece. Now let's see what I was talking about. So. These guys over here. And these guys over here, their tournaments use a lot of two-handed weapons, which is really ha handy. These guys over here, they're on horseback an awful lot. So these are a little bit tricky. If you're not very used to being on horseback, then you probably don't want to do a tournament over there. So pick, you know, wisely pick the, the culture or the area in which you think you stand the best chance when it comes to those tournaments. You do get some decent money. As you can see, we can sell these decorated plate boots for 800. However, we don't necessarily need the money right now. Um, and it is better than what we've got, so we're going to stick them on. There we go. One thing I also like when it comes to tournaments is the armor and goods that you kind of wear. You actually bring in a battle with you. So, you know, that kind of thing is pretty bloody good. So I'd like to do a little bit of trading. I would like to do... Oh, hello. So this guy here has a gold um, exclamation mark. That means he's attached to our main mission, the Bannerlord mission, or the... Let's have a little look. See, look down here at the quests. We can see he is here. The folly. So we need to talk to an awful lot of people um, in order to get this you know sorted and that's just one of the things we need to do so anyone that you see the gold exclamation mark it's worth talking to them as and when you see them the same with if they're in the keep if you can afford it to get into the keep i would highly recommend actually doing so and talking to them just across that person off your map uh, we're going to help him out we're going to send the troops because let's face it he doesn't actually need any help in the first place and you do actually get a little bit of you know, some of them like you for for helping out. Some of them don't, however, so keep that in mind too. We're going to take any prisoners that we can. And where is this guy? We do need to talk to you, friend. There we go. Okay. This is my name, and this is what I wanted to do. Thank you. All done. Problem solved. Now, I'm not going to join anybody. Uh, I'm not interested in joining anybody at the moment. One of the other things is, is you can leave them. So if you want to join a culture, you can. Also, if you get fairly big, ooh, there's a lot of raiders and all that could kind of like go into one army. So I don't want to fight that right now. Um, yeah, so if you get to a certain size, something interesting I found out is actually um, other factions will reach out to you and ask you if um, if you want to join them, which I think is quite cool. You can you know deny them if you wish. But I think that's kind of cool. 
that other people reach out when they see your clan get to a certain size. Something like this would be a really good little fight for me. Uh, it means that my men will get a little bit of training. We're going to attack. Now there's only eight of them. We outnumber them two to one, so it should be a pretty straightforward um, battle. Right? We can actually see them running towards us. All of our guys are Nele guys, though. So, you know, we've got no advantage for holding this position. So we are going to select and just have them charge. They don't even have any shields, so putting them in a shield wall really isn't going to do much. Uh, let's... There we go. And we're all done. Everyone is gone. Battle won. Nice and easy. Simple as chips. Got some experience. I'll take that. We've got one renown as well, or well, 1.1 round, and the troops are happy because we won a battle. So that's always cool. Uh, we also got some goodies, so we'll take them just because we can sell them on later. And where were we going? We were going over here. Let's see what these guys actually have to offer. Maybe they got something good. Maybe they've got something we can trade. We can sell our goods. We've got a couple of prisoners to sell as well. We've actually got enough money to buy, buy a companion. I would recommend grabbing a companion as soon as you can. Um, just because the companions tend to be a bit sturdier than the other troops that you can pick up. Um, so I think they're highly worthwhile picking up. Plus, they've also got extra stats and things that can help you out. Don't need to sell my grain. Don't know why I did that. Um, what have they got in goods wise? So all this is a bit expensive. Damn, if we had grain, we could sell it for bank here. The same with fish. Fish sells high here. We need to make a note of that. They do have hogs, but they're relatively expensive here too. So I don't think we're going to bother with that. Let's quickly check the tavern. There is someone here. We could have a chat. And she only costs 385 to jump into our group. She probably isn't worthwhile, to be fair. There are definitely some better companions. And actually, you can find all of the companions in the game uh, using your encyclopedia. So I would recommend having a look at that because it's definitely worth having a look at the stats. And if we go to Heroes, and if we go to Wanderers, and these are all of the companions that you can pick up in the game. Some of them are absolutely amazing, some of them aren't so good, um, but they're all here. You can check out their stats, and you can also check out where they were last seen. So if you want to headhunt, you can absolutely do that. And it is something I would recommend doing. Um, fish. Didn't we say we might be able to make some money if we had some fish? Let's pop over here and see if we can actually make some money. Just this town here is where we need to go to afterwards. We buy what they got if it's cheap. Let's have a look. Buy a product. Fish is only 11. Uh, so yeah, we should be able to sell it for a little bit. Let's see. Now this exceeds our carry capacity by quite a bit, meaning it's going to slow us down. However, we're only going here, so hopefully it's not going to take too long. But if we have a look, we are moving at 2.4 and we are decreased by 2.77 because we are overburdened. Obviously that's us hauling all those fish. If it wasn't, then we would be cushy. Although gathering more horses um, to increase our carry capacity, to increase our speed across the map is probably a good idea and something we do need to add to the list. Let's go to trade. 
there we go look at that we will actually make a half decent profit um off these fish which is pretty cool 1700 in the bank bush and it increased our trade skill that's now up 10 points which is pretty cool we've gone from nothing to 10 points with that one deal um i think possibly we might have got a point or two from the hogs i don't recall looking so if you guys did see that in the video let me know down in the comments because i honestly can't remember if that's something we've done however we do need some grain to, oh, grain's quite expensive let's get some butter everyone loves a bit of butter kushti we're making our way over here because these guys are kind of like king of horses um they have a lot of whoa that is a big army that's two big armies two exclamation marks let's see if we can talk to someone uh talk to the army leader yes please there we go that's another one ticked off the list. Looks like there's someone else here too. Uh, talk to other party members. This guy right here. He has some nice information for us too. And again, another one ticked off. And it looks like this party also have someone. And there we go. There we go. We ticked off quite a few in this. I'm quite happy with that. That was quite quick. Let's pop over here. We're quite a lot faster than an army. They are moving 500 troops. You would expect to be relatively faster than them. Our speed is 5.3, which isn't too bad. Recruit troops. Ah, oh, these guys have some decent troops. I think anything on horseback ultimately is pretty bloody good uh, as you can see these horses are overpriced and it's not going to help us out at all so we don't want to buy them although this would be a great place to sell them if we had any to sell they have some sheep okay so let's move down here and see what we got down here oh there's fish did we need fish we got cash for fish. We need to find some cheap fish. We have got three grand and 20 troops. I really don't think we're doing too bad. Again, these horses are very expensive. Not something we want to be buying. Fish are quite overpriced. And we don't want those hogs either. So let's... Where are we? I feel like doubling back for the fish. Let's double back for these fish real quick. See if there are any fish cheaply for sale here. If they are, we pick them up. Maybe we can turn a quick profit before we hit the next city. I don't want to recruit troops. We do want fish. Nah, that fish is way too expensive. But there is a second tournament opened up. Now remember guys, I really don't like these tournaments personally. Um, so if I end up losing, I'm just going to blame you guys, okay? Trying to keep it entertaining for you after all. So wish me luck and let me know down in the comments what you think. Tournament number two, am I going to win or am I going to lose? It's a pretty nice thought to be fair. It's probably better than whatever I've got. So it would be nice to have it. We're going to do bets. Might as well believe in ourselves a little bit. And we're not on horseback, which is favourable. This guy's throwing a javelin. Hopefully he misses. He's bloody got us in the head, I think. And again. Ooh, he's going to get us. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We died. That was bad. I think we still had a javelin sticking in our arm or something as well. That was pretty rough, to be fair. I'm not sure how we ended up 
in the next round. But I will take it. I'll tell you that. I'll definitely bloody take it. We're on horseback. And we do have a source. A source? Oh. We do have a sword. I'm going to lock on. That was with the right um, analog stick. If anyone didn't know that tip already. You can lock on to a target. It does help out. However, we do not have the range. Hey, we did get him though. So that worked. Lock on again. We had a couple of good swings. This guy's got some health on him. There we go. Finally. Jeez. That guy had health. Two left. Two against four. We should do this. It took a lot of damage, but... Not sure how we're still in this tournament, to be fair. Like I said, I think we should have lost in that last round. We definitely died, so... We gained a level, which is helpful. We're a baby right now. Uh, there we go. I need one of the long sticks. Quite happy to be getting more um, one-handed sword points, however. Probably getting some athletics as well. There we go. Our team's through to the next round. Kushti, kushti. Now, we did make a bet. We might as well make another one as we're still in. It's 2v2. And there we go. Gave us the archers again. Ah. Wasn't ready for that. Got some good damage on him though. And again, we are getting that damage. Our, our sword looks like it's made out of wood possibly. We're doing no damage at all, but we are doing damage. Hey, we killed one. So now it's 2v1. Can we get him? We did get some damage there. Some decent damage. Hey, we got the last kill. Sick. Now we are on to the last round of the tournament. Which is pretty cool. It looks like we might be getting a saber. 1v1. I kind of fancy myself. As long as we're not on horseback. We're probably going to be on horseback. Not on horseback. He's over here. Oh, he got me. Oh, that was in the edge. Oh, we cut him down. Very nice. Athletics goes up to 23. I will take that. We have got ourselves yet another tournament win. We got ourselves a Sabre, got ourselves 1600, and we got three Renown. That's not too bad, guys. I'm quite happy with that, if I'm honest. Let's see just how good this sword actually is, however. It's worth 900, which isn't bad. I'm going to pop it down, because at the end of the day, it's better than what we got. We do finish this episode with four grand, over four grand, 20 men, a couple of tournaments in the bag. I'm quite happy with this first episode. And that ends the first episode of my beginner's guide in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlords. Hopefully this episode has been entertaining, you learned something, or you just want to see more. Let me know down in the comments. We do have an active and grind discord. The link for that will be down in the description. Don't forget to join, say hi, and like and subscribe to the channel guys we have 97 percent of all banner lords um video uh, viewers not subscribed it does us a huge huge thing if you do hit that button and it helps this channel grow but 
I've been Mark with Binnacles Euclidus, and I will see you in the next video real soon. Until then, take it easy and happy gaming.